Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today I need to introduce you to a brand that is doing the most in the hair care world, and you need to know about it. Let me just peel back the curtain for you guys real quick and tell you a little story. So back in like January, I got an email from this brand that wanted to work with me. Uh, I do get a lot of emails from brands and I'm very, very picky about who I work with. You guys know this. And they started talking about their new product that they had coming out and I got so immediately excited about the science behind it that I was like, oh my gosh, get on the phone with me now. And I actually got to get on the phone with the founders. We talked about the science behind it and I just, Ooh, freaked out. I loved it. So I filmed my video and had it all ready to go, and then everything on their website sold out. They went viral on TikTok. That's how it goes. <laughs> but today, I finally get to release this video that I filmed a couple months ago, and I'm gonna give you guys a little update at the end of the video on how the products are still working for me, so I kinda love this development for the video. But I get to introduce you guys to my hair bay the inky list. They're all about just stripping things down to talking about ingredients, the packaging, everything, very minimal because they want to educate on ingredients because they believe that better information powers better decisions in skincare and now in hair care. And I'm so excited about that because I mean the hair industry tries to sell you so much stuff and it's all about like all this hype and like what the thing's gonna do for your hair and all these claims, but it never talks about how it's going to do that. And I really love that the Inky List breaks it down into like one lead ingredient, tells you how that product's gonna work, and it helps put you in the driver's seat with your hair. Plus, their products work on every hair type, are under $15, and are well formulated. We love to see it. And now that the products are back in stock, I finally get to share the whole video with you guys. I am so excited that you get to see it and we get to talk about it. I do wanna note that this video is sponsored by The Inky List, but I would 1000% be going just as hard and be just as much of a fangirl without them partnering with me. But I am really glad they are partnering with me because I get to keep the lights on here. <laughs> Here's how the video is gonna go. We're gonna be doing a little intro of each product. I'm gonna tell you guys what the brand says about it and how it feels to use on my hair. And then I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit of the science behind the ingredients and that's all just based on my opinion, based on the different articles that I read. And then once we go through the key six products that I've been using, I'm gonna come back on real quick and tell you guys how all these products have been working on my hair over the past two and a half-ish months since I filmed that video. So obviously, stick around to the end for that. But now let's go to past Kaylee and let her tell you all about the wonders that are Inky List. Let's start with my current Inky List routine. These are the products that have worked their way into my weekly routine. I picked them based on the InkyList.com's recipe builder. You can go in there, type up your hair needs, and it will tell you the products that apply to you. I picked my favorites. That's what I've been using. Okie dokie, first up, we have the PCA Bond Repair Treatment. Unlike other bond building products, works on all three bonds in your hair, which is important and we'll talk about why later. And it basically helps to repair from and protect your hair against things like color, bleach, and heat styling, all of which I need. And all together, it <clears throat> repairs, strengthens, reduces split ends, and makes hair smoother with more shine and bounce, and it works on all hair types. We love. You use it just by spraying it on wet or dry hair and leaving it in. That's it. I love that the entire packaging is recyclable, including the pump. I'm also obsessed with the pump because it has this really light, fine mist. Let me just show you here. I use this mostly just on my wet hair after I've towel dried, before I blow dry, so that I can make sure that I'm getting that bond building treatment in. And I love that now I don't have to worry about like a pre-mask situation or like letting stuff sit for 20 minutes or like planning my day around my bond building routine. It's a spray and I can just put it in and go. Honestly, when it's an easy solution like that, it is far more likely that I'm going to use it and I appreciate that. And then the other thing is how it looks on your hair. And what I like about it is that you get this kind of like instant shine and smoothness and like overall beautiful look to the hair. So you get instant results, but it's also cumulative. So it's gonna keep giving you results. So you're gonna keep rebuilding bonds. You're gonna keep protecting your hair in like a building fashion. If you guys wanna see what that looks like, here's a little before and after from earlier today. I uh, used a clarifying treatment. My hair was a little mad at me and look, it made it better. Overall, it leaves my hair looking and feeling better instantly and I can trust that it's gonna keep working on it. So experience wise, it's a full win. So that's the experience. That's what it feels like. Let's talk about the science behind it and how it actually does any of that. 
We're gonna put this down. I'm gonna need my hands to gesture for this. If I can't talk with my hands, I can't talk. It's just how it is. So the hero ingredient in this formula is a trademarked ingredient called Grain Repair Power Bond, and there is a whopping 10% of this ingredient in this product. You guys might not be familiar with percentages, but that's a lot. I also really appreciate that you can see on their website the exact percentage of each active ingredient. That's very cool. So basically, within Grain Repair Power Bond, you have this teeny tiny little amino acid PCA. I cannot pronounce the whole name. I'm not gonna try. It would be embarrassing. And it gets into your hair and it works on all three bonds that make up the strength of your hair. Because of its teeny tiny size, it's uh, very good at getting into all hair, including curly hair, even in the little elbows of your curls where things are a little bit more compact, it can still get in and do its job. So why are bonds important in the first place? Why do we need to rebuild them? Well, essentially, these three bonds in your hair help to bind together the polypeptide chains that form keratin, which is the protein that makes up 90% of your hair. This is very simplified, but they're almost like a coiled rope inside your hair, and the bonds are holding the coils of the rope together. And without that, you're more open to damage. The primary of those bonds is the disulfide bond, which is responsible for 90% of your hair's strength. And it's broken through things like chemical processing, hair coloring and bleaching, heat styling, am guilty. <laughs> Our other two bonds are hydrogen and salt bonds, and these are the ones that are currently not addressed by any other bonding system. These little guys break and reform fairly regularly. Hydrogen, for example, breaks and reforms when your hair gets wet and then dries again. But the cool thing is now we can go in and repair non-functioning bonds so that your little polypeptide chains are wound together as tightly as possible, creating the best keratin possible, creating healthy hair. So essentially, when we talk about bond building, we're talking about going in and fixing the foundation of your hair. We're not talking about putting things on the hair to fix surfaces. We're talking about going in and reinforcing the foundation. And our new favorite ingredient here, our little tiny PCA molecule is suspended within what's called bis-PCA dimethicone. Now this ingredient for me is amazing and I'm very excited about it, but I do also wanna point out that it is silicone based. However, let's pause and talk about how I feel about silicones and why I'm not bothered by this. So quick overview, I need to make a whole video on this. This whole topic is huge, but basically some people decided to formulate with really low quality gunky silicone and it started to build up on people's hair and it did bad things. And some people were like, you know what? We're canceling silicone. And I'm like, yes, let's cancel bad silicone all day long. Absolutely. But there have also been a lot of advancements in technology around here. There have also been a lot of advancements in quality, and it doesn't have to be something that we are immediately afraid of. Specifically in this formula, the domethicone we're talking about is a family of what I like to call band-aid silicones, and it only sticks to like damaged areas of your hair, which is a good thing because it keeps good things in your hair from seeping out through this kind of like open hole in your cuticle and it helps the overall surface to be more smooth so you have less tangles and your hair might break less. Overall, to me, that's a good thing. That's something that I like. I totally understand that it's related to something I don't like, but this one is cool. We're good with it. Just wanted to touch on that. Wanted to make sure you guys understand where I'm coming from. Uh, the final thing we get from this ingredient is improved shine and bounce from fixing damaged areas. But there's also a couple other products I love in this formula. We've got Aqua Rich, which is full of polysaccharides and amino acids and helps to improve the surface of the hair, which equals shine. We've got Corazidone, which is pea protein based and helps prevent cracking of the cuticle. Definitely don't want that. And I don't know how to pronounce this last one. Heliogenol, which protects against damaging effects of free radicals, which is another video I need to make. Free radicals wreak havoc on your hair. We love putting them to bed. Overall, there's a lot of really cool innovation in this product. I find it really comprehensive and effective. So it's great for the girl on the go or the hair nerd that wants the very best ingredients. Put it together, you got it in this product. Next one is the Hyaluronic Acid Hair Treatment. You can use this one on wet or dry hair as a leave-in treatment, or you can mix it into your shampoo and or conditioner. I don't know about you guys, but I am a giant fan of hyaluronic acid in skincare, so I was very excited to learn that it could also be helpful in hair care. This treatment is meant to help hydrate hair, reduce frizz, reduce brittleness, and protect against pollution. The day-to-day -day things that we do with our hair, like blow drying, heat styling, washing with really hot water, living in dry environments, 
all dehydrates the hair and so rehydrating can be very important. So for me, I like to use this as a leave-in treatment. It is just this nice like drink of water for my hair. I mean, quite literally, that's what it's supposed to do. Um, and I find that not only does it give me a good before and after, uh, I actually used it on my dry and gray hair today on just one side. I felt like it gave me a little bit more shine. It gave me a lot more softness and it took down some of that frizzy like hairiness. But I also find that it pairs really well with other products. I don't know what it is, but I feel like my other products look better, do better when I'm using this. So you can actually see today I use the PCA on both sides of my hair, but the hyaluronic acid only on one. And I think that side is shinier and it feels softer. And given that I do a lot of heat styling and I've bleached my hair and all of that, it makes sense that my hair would be losing moisture. I like putting it back in. So let's talk about the facts. So hyaluronic acid in general is big famous for being like a sponge. It just brings water directly to the surface. For skin, it's great. I love it for my skin. I feel like redness goes down, glazed donut effect goes up. It's great. And generally that spongy water attractedness, like bringing the water into the hair is going to help with replacing the water loss through all of our typical routines. So our trademarked ingredient that does all of this fancy stuff is Resistol. This one is really cool because it has both small and large hyaluronic acid particles so that it can get into different layers of your hair and work really well. And on your hair, that works to create a moisture barrier and it also helps to reduce frizz by reinforcing the beta keratin structure in your hair. And overall, the effect from that is shine and softness. Then you have penenthanol, which is a derivative of vitamin B. This one helps retain moisture and it helps with your hair's overall texture. And finally we have betaine. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. This one has amazing hydration benefits, but it's also at a hair healthy pH. So it's a little bit less irritating to your hair than water, which is cool. And so when we look overall at these actives, we see that it really is about like a moisture surge to the hair. It's about improving the texture of the hair and reducing frizz. It, again, in a way that is complementary to the rest of your system. It's not necessarily going to replace a shine spray that you love or styling your hair with heat to make it a little bit more like in the shape that you want, but it will give your hair the base that it needs to look the best that it can once your entire routine is done. And my third main inky list product, the caffeine stimulating scalp treatment. So I've talked a little bit about how I'm trying to grow my hair. I want it long again. I also want to grow these bangs out of it. And so I've been doing all this stuff. I've been taking my vitamins. I've been eating healthy. I've been taking care of my hair strands, but I also need to take care of my scalp health. And that's where this little guy comes in. I've been loving this little treatment. It's essentially meant to help reduce hair loss by keeping your hair in the antigen phase, which can help to enhance healthy hair growth. My favorite thing about this is that it is a really, really lightweight formula. Like it's basically like water. It's literally a water kind of consistency <laughs> as it runs all over my hand. And you just take about that many drops. You massage it into your scalp once a day. I usually do it at night and that's really it. What I like about it though, is that it doesn't weigh my hair down. I've been doing this every single night and I can still go three, four, sometimes five days with a lot of dry shampoo between washing my hair. And that is something that no other hair growth enhancing product has been able to do for me yet. And so that even alone was gonna win it for me. <laughs> Overall, you need to use this for three months to see results. I'm only about a month in, but I can check in with you guys later. Overall, I'm really excited about using it because it is very easy to use and work into my routine and it doesn't affect how often I have to wash my hair, which is a very important thing to me. <laughs> Getting into the facts behind it, because obviously hair growth claims are a big deal. First of all, we have the ingredient caffeine. I'm gonna be linking studies below so you guys can take a look at it. I did find some really cool ones that were double blind, placebo controlled, we love. Some of the things that scientists have been able to find is that it gets into the hair follicle really, really well, just absorbs through it. It enhances antigen duration and reduces the rate of hair fall. It also increased the strength of new hair that was grown and it caused no side effects for any of the participants in any of the studies that I read, which is important because other hair growth uh, enhancers do. So we like to acknowledge that this one doesn't. There's a lot of science behind how it actually works, but one of my favorite things is that scientists kept saying that it invigorates the hair follicle. And I was like, so it's exactly like giving me espresso is really what this sounds like. And I was just imagining this little follicle getting like a little caffeine high once a day, like, oh, 
and like making more and stronger hair every time. That's what I imagine. <laughs> the next one is called Red and Cell. This one is very cool. So it actually targets the stem cells in your hair follicle and it promotes cell division, which enhances antigen phase length. In studies, this one outperformed your normal over-the-counter hair growth treatment and it actually showed results over the course of 84 days better than that of a hair transplant in one study, which is cool. Looking at the science behind it, I'm really excited about it. I also just love the formula. I love that I can use it consistently every day and it doesn't mess with me and it's only $15. It is a full on win for me. <laughs> so those are the three that are in pretty much constant rotation for me. The caffeine scalp treatment gets used every single night. The PCA Bond Builder and Hyaluronic Acid treatment are used every time I wash my hair and then anytime in between as I feel my hair needs it. My hair is doing great. Between this and the rice water treatments I've been doing, my hair is straight vibing. They do have six more products in the line and I have used a few of them and enjoyed them, so I'm gonna shout those out real quick as well. Another one I've been using here and there is the Salicylic Acid Scalp Treatment. Who would have thought Salicylic Acid for the scalp but it's brilliant. So this product is meant to tackle itchiness, flakiness, and oil buildup on your scalp. The itchiness is definitely a winter problem for me. And similar to the caffeine treatment, this is really watery, so it's really easy to just massage through your roots. And you do this one before you shower, you massage it into your roots and allow it to sit for 10 minutes and then you shampoo and condition as usual. So it's a nice little thing you can add into your routine to help treat the itchiness, flakiness, and or oil buildup. And I've been using it kind of on an as need basis. Um, anytime my scalp feels extra itchy or if I feel like I've used a lot of products on my scalp and I wanna make sure that I get it nice and clean, I use this and it's been really, really helpful. You know, your scalp is where your hair grows from, you've got to keep it healthy, and this is a really good step in that process. Taking a very quick look at the ingredients, you've got salicylic acid, which reduces itchiness, helps to release flakes and reduce flakiness. It's essentially like a chemical exfoliant, which means that it helps to exfoliate without being a scrub. And although this is not a claim that the inky list makes, salicylic acid on its own has been shown to be effective for dandruff and savoric dermatitis. They also have Fluid Pure, another trademarked ingredient. This one, <laughs> limits the proliferation of microorganisms, fights scalp redness, dandruff, and odors, and rebalances the friendly bacteria. This is essentially your scalp peacekeeper. It's doing all the good things, keeping the friendly bacteria going, but also soothing so many other problems. And then peninsonol, which is that vitamin B derivative that we talked about in the hyaluronic acid treatment. Overall, I love this formula. I love the chemical exfoliation idea. I love that there's other stuff in there to really help with soothing your scalp. I just think it's an overall good formula and it's again, an easy application just to work into your day-to-day -day life. Another one that I've loved, I have in my hair today because again, my hair was dry and a little angry after my clarifying treatment. <laughs> this is the Shea Nourishing Oil hair treatment. This is essentially a very lightweight oil that is meant to help hydrate and nourish dry and brittle hair. The formula is so thin, it comes out almost watery and then you rub it between your fingers and it feels like a slightly oily serum but it's so lightweight. Just gonna rub it in, moisturize the hands, keep them young. And the way they do this is with their Liplex Shea Light. This is a trademarked ingredient that has basically taken shea oil and broken it down into much smaller molecules. I might have simplified that too far, but essentially that's what it does. So you get the benefits of shea oil without the heft of shea oil. And I really appreciate that because I have very fine hair that easily gets overwhelmed by shea. And so I don't get to use it in a lot of my hair care. I find that it gives a beautiful amount of shine. It really helps my hair if it's missing oil. Overall, super, super good, and I haven't found it to be an oil that builds up on my hair. Shea can be notorious for building up on hair, but I have not found that to be true with this one. I personally attribute that to the little tiny Shea molecules. As with all of their products, this is meant to be able to be used on my hair types. I really feel that. I feel like it works really well on my fine, slightly damaged hair. I've seen people use it on like bleached hair and I feel like it would be great for curly girls too because it's gonna give you those lipids that you need for your hair, but 
it's not gonna weigh your hair down. So you're not gonna like get any kind of curl disruption from that. So your curls don't necessarily have a lot of weight added to them and it does wash out well. So you're not gonna have to deal with buildup. And we love that. Um, I think it's a really, really good option for everybody. To dive into the ingredients just a little bit, that Lifeplex Shea Light is very lightweight. We have covered that. It's very sustainable and you get the benefits of Shea. And it also has jojoba oil, which is a very, very lightweight, easy to use oil already. It mimics skin's natural sebum, essentially the oil that your face and scalp make. So your hair is able to take it in really, really well. And it's nice to be able to add that into areas where the oil from your scalp is not getting. Overall, the before and afters I see with this one are beautiful. I really love it and I feel like I see really good benefits from it. Obviously with the shea oil, you can put it on wet or dry hair, but it can also go into your shampoo, conditioner, or I guess deep conditioner if you wanted it to. The last one I've been playing around with is the vitamin C brightening hair treatment. This one is meant to be used on the cuticle to reduce frizz, to brighten dull hair, and to add gloss and shine. And it does that by returning your hair to its hydrophobic state working on the lipid barrier in your hair and the surface of your hair. All really cool things, and so I've had a fun time playing around with this little guy. This is also one that you can use as a leave-in treatment or you can mix in with your shampoo or conditioner. You could also use on dry hair. Versatile. As with all of these guys, it's a very watery texture. And I feel like for me, I love that. It's really nice, especially if you wanna mix it in with your shampoo and conditioner. I can see how maybe for some people, if you're used to that kind of like more lotion-y, jelly product, it could definitely feel weird to get used to. Just gonna go ahead and warn you about that. But I've obviously been really enjoying the more watery feel. I think that it's nice and lightweight and easy to use on the hair. So for me, it's a win. But when I have used it, it's been after the shower, on towel dried hair, before drying it. And uh, I just wanna talk through the ingredients on this one. So we first have 0.5% VCIP, which is a form of vitamin C. This ingredient is the one that helps to return hair to its hydrophobic state and it also helps with cuticle fluffing. <laughs> Basically, you don't want cuticle fluffing, it helps against that. Next, you have Lusterplex. This is another trademarked ingredient. When you see all these trademarked ingredients, it's that there's a lab that's figured out how to work with these natural ingredients in a way that's going to really be effective on the hair and different companies will buy those ingredients and use them in their formulas. This one helps with shine retention, detangling, and conditioning. It resists buildup and it resists humidity. Resisting buildup meaning that it's not going to build up on your hair. And then we have betaine, betaine, our favorite little hydrator. Overall, I like this one. I feel like when I have used it, it's been at the same time as the hyaluronic acid serum. So I feel like I have a hard time differentiating it, which is why I'm not speaking as much to the experience. But I do see like the shine and the gloss and it does feel really good on the hair. So you can just compare the two and see which one you like best. Guys, look at this. And those are the other three that have been in and out of my rotation. I just don't need them as often as the first three, but I did want to mention them. The other three products in the line are a curl defining treatment, which has great reviews, a peptide volumizing hair treatment, which I do need to try. I love volume. And an amino acid anti-gray scalp serum. But those are the products that I have used from the Inky List. If you wanna check out which ones would be right for you, you can go to theinkylist.com and check out their recipe builder for hair. They also have one for skin if you wanna check it out and you can sort through that and pick out the ones that you want to try most. And with that, we're back to May 2021. Hello. So I'm going to give you guys just the quickest rundown on this of which products I'm still using and loving. So first of all, PCA Bond Repair. This is my second bottle. It was sold out in the US until very recently, so I bought some for the UK because I needed it that bad. If that doesn't speak of my undying love and commitment, I don't know what does. I just feel like my hair has been in, in its best shape that it's been in in a very, very long time, and I credit it a whole lot to this. So, big words, but I love it, and it's like $13. I highly recommend. I've still been buddying up the hyaluronic acid and the vitamin C serum. I don't know why, I just really like them together, so that's just me personally. The hyaluronic acid is so nice for hydrating the hair, so if I'm doing a lot of heat styling or anything that I know is going to be drying out my hair, I just hydrate it with that. And I feel like anytime I pull out the hyaluronic acid, I also pull out the vitamin C. They're not 
a daily thing for me, but I do probably use them about once a week just to keep up with the health of my hair. The caffeine stimulating scalp treatment. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I've been using it pretty much every night. I am almost completely out of my bottle. Gotta buy another one. Can you tell how much longer my hair is now than it was in the last video? It's only been two months. You know, I am taking my vitamins, doing the rice water, and the caffeine, and I think like the combination is just rocking. Like, I love it. My favorite thing about the caffeine stimulating scalp treatment is that it doesn't gunk my hair up. I can use it every single night. I have not found anything else like that. So if you want a scalp treatment to help with hair growth, that's it. Like for me, it's the one. The salicylic acid scalp treatment, I have not had to use as frequently because it is back to humidity around here and my scalp is not itchy again until like October. That being said, when I need relief, when I need to care for my scalp, it is my go-to. Like that is the one I'm going to pull out and put on my scalp. I really, really love it. And it can do a lot of great things for your scalp. I've done a little bit of additional research since then and just, yes. If you have scalp issues, I recommend. And then the Shea Oil. That one is still a favorite oil of mine, whether I just need like a little something when my hair is damp or if it's like day three and I dry shampooed and texturized everything so much and I just need a little shine back on my ends, it's my go-to. It's so good. I really love how lightweight it is, but that it really feels like it's still adding a lot of lipids back into my hair. It's just so good. So basically, I'm still loving everything. If I was only allowed to pick one, it would be the PCA. If I was only allowed to pick two, it would be the PCA and the caffeine stimulating scalp treatment. So that is the inky list from my first experience a few months ago to to now, obviously this has been a very glowing and enthusiastic review. I think a big part of that is just because like my philosophy and the brand's philosophy are so well aligned. We're just besties, it just kind of happened. <laughs> can't deny it, can't fight it, it's where we are. If I had to pick some cons for the brand, it's mostly just the packaging. I love that it's sustainable and recyclable, especially that it's aluminum. Like I really do love that. First for me, it's that the design is so similar when they're sitting next to each other and it's first thing in the morning and I haven't had my coffee, I'm very apt to grab the wrong thing. I have to like get it all close and be like, which one are you? Okay, not you. We're using this one. I would just like them to look a little bit more different. Just, just something. And sometimes the product can be a little clunky to get out of the packaging. I mean, I was used to that within like the first few days of using, but I feel like when you first get them, you might have that too, where it's like, it's a bottle with like a dropper and you've got like this watery stuff inside. It can be a little funny to work with, but it's not a big deal to me. I love the products inside and I don't think the packaging is that big a deal, but if you wanted me to pick a con, there it is, that's the con. And if you have any questions for the brand, you can use the hashtag AskInkyList at literally any time of day on any day and they will answer your questions. So if you have questions for the brand, you can address them there. But I think that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed taking a deeper look into this brand. I think it's very, very cool. And I think my fellow hair nerds out there are going to really love it. But all that being said, if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit that like button to help support my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa and all of you guys please hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video but that's it for today whether you're old or new or a casual lurker thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video Mwah! bye I cannot deal with the fact that this eye is just constantly running it's a leaky faucet Ugh! okay we've got aqua witch aqua witch <laughs> Everything's fine, I'm not losing my mind.